Large top friends, this is the sound comparison between the Epiphone Emperor I showed earlier today. This little guy is an amber jewel that came from, actually started assembly in 1941 or two. As you can tell, it's pre-war in that, well, it has a mix, pre-war versus non, the the uh, inlays have space between the older ones. However, the headstock, if it were pre-war, it would have triangular inlay here, and you would have two more leaves on the uh, headstock inlay connected to this bottom flower. So looking at the headstock, this is post-war, looking at the inlays pre-war, looking at the F-holes, also kind of pre-war-ish. So it's a bit of a mystery guitar, kind of half built uh, before and then half after. So interesting. But we'll do a sound check of this versus the Super 400 and try to vary the style a little bit. So, um, but one thing to call out first before we get started, you know that from before maybe this construction is a little bit different, although they look quite similar. Epiphone, parallel braced, Gibson up until 37, X braced. So you'll hear some difference there anyway. Similar strings, uh, this is bronze phosphor, this is nickel on steel, not terribly different, a little bit different. And then the other difference on this won't affect the tone, but it will affect my playing. So if I uh, make some mistakes, half of it's because I'm incompetent, the other half is because this nut width, you would expect to be thicker, but it's actually 1 and 11 sixteenths. And then this guy is almost 1 and 3 quarters. So swapping back and forth is a little tricky, but I will do my best in the spirit of information sharing and borderline entertainment. Uh, so let me start a little bit with some, let's see, how about just finger style. I'll do a little finger, a little strum, and then a little comping, and then we'll uh, switch to the Gibson. continue the slope of hardness and volume, that point where it kind of reaches the uh, peak, I guess would be called, how much headroom it has. So this one has pretty good headroom and it keeps a nice tight, crisp, woody Epiphone. 
headphone sound. Decent headroom, good string balance. The volume of strings E to E comes through quite evenly. And then the Gibson. <laughs> to my ear. And then acoustically, finger style. Sustain is much better on the Gibson, by the way. Just like a chamber inside. Oh, I guess it is a chamber inside. That's not very insightful, uh, but anyway, a little bit of comping on the Epiphone, just to give you a similar feel.
comparison that could derive some differences and learn a little bit about the Epiphone Emperor. It's a sweet little thing. I'm lucky to have it. And overall, I would say, in terms of enjoyability, I like the sound of the X brace. This one is a really mid, kind of a mid punchy, which normally people say that is a hallmark of X braced. A little darker midi sound. But I think this Gibson has that, which I like. Plus it just has more. It has more uh, resonance. And it's a more balanced string volume. here those who want to stop watching now please do there was one more request somebody said throw in an L5 just for comparison so the rest of you can turn off and I will just do a quick sound comparison of the 35 L5 which uh, came from norms recently it's the one with the interesting inlays and it has a unique sound. It may not be in tune with the other guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the comparisons, and uh, until next time.